Hello everyone, welcome back to the channel. This is Sanjay Parashar and today we are on the session 2 of MuleSoft series that we have created where we are going to learn Mule 4 Enterprise Service Bus and in our previous session we went through and see how the AnyPoint Studio look and there were there was no demo in our previous session however from today onwards we will be developing the demos and we will try to cover uh, all the connections all the events and how we can make mule applications as fast and as dynamic as possible so today we will be creating a hello program using http listener connection from the mule palette section so so this is a demo project that I created in our previous tutorial and you can go ahead and create a new project also by going to file new and mule project and this section is called mule canvas so from our mule palette from the from the http module we will drag and drop this http listener and it will automatically create a flow on the top you see this is a flow however in code module there is a section for flow as well which works as somewhere similar to scope in SOA or in any other language as well and here under here we can see that you know the property is coming for the highlighted event so we are currently highlighting flow we can give it a different name let's call it main flow and on the listener connection here you see there is a red exclamation sign and because we need to give a connection configuration for this let's give a different name to display we will be using a get operation here let's say get hello so it will make more sense to someone who will be looking at this connection for the very first time under this connection configuration if we click on this plus icon here by default this host 0000 basically is the local host because we are running this mule runtime at on our local only as part of this uh, anypoint studio and we can give a port 8081 whatever port that is free from your firewall you can give it that uh, i'm not sure if 8081 is free for uh, my machine or not but let's let's test and we can be sure of it all right as we can see the test connection successful so the port is working we need to remember this port because when we will be testing this service we will be using this port only to our web service client where we will be checking this rest service we we'll click on ok and we'll give it a path consider this path as more like a resource path for rest service let's say hello and other options which are important as part of this http listener is for our activity what we are going to do at the moment is this advance if we don't give anything in the allowed methods it can be used as a get as well as post however for for our poc we will be keeping it as get so now as you can see that that uh, error message is gone from here and now there are certain events certain activities which are part of different modules here we will be using those now for example there is a activity called set payload set payload is basically changes whatever the payload variable there is here we can give any text and it will be replied back suppose we just say hello mule we save it and let's run this however we will be getting the dynamic value from user and returning as hello along with that dynamic value whatever user passes as part of the query parameter so we will be doing that and to test it we will be needing a web service client for example postman or soap ui i'm going to use postman so let let me get that ready I think that was the port and that uh, resource path that we gave as part of this particular service and we can see that it is deployed you can confirm that 
once from here that we have given 8081 http and localhost and as it is deployed at the moment and it is get here however you see we are not passing any parameter at the moment so we'll just send it and we should be getting hello mule the payload that we set as part of the set payload event and status is 200 okay however our goal is not to just send whatever we are putting there in set payload we want to take input from the user and then manipulate that input and send it back to the service like any hello program so for example in parameters let's give a parameter name and let's give a value for example sanjay so now as in this listener we have not set any pre defined parameter however the request we know that we are sending name and we are sending a value to it so in this payload we'll click on this expression mode we'll switch to the expression mode here we can use mule expression or we can use data weave expressions as part of this here we have as part of mule message we have attributes then we have the query params as you can see and from the query param we know for a fact that we are giving name here like this it could be anything else as well suppose we gave complete name not name and here we give Parashar. It just it is a case sensitive so we have to make sure that we are passing exactly what the parameter name is and I'm going to give a complete name here and to concat anything there is plus plus that we can use So this is what we can do hello and whatever user passes we are taking that as a string let's save it and we deployed it once so we don't have to deploy it again minimum changes the runtime uh, mule server is smart enough to deploy those changes and it started this app and now let's test it and it says hello Sanjay Prashu. So that's how you take input from the user as part of attributes, query parameters, and you can manipulate it the way you want. You can either use it to call a different service. You can do whatever you want with it. Similarly, if you pass as a post, you pass something in body that will be part of payload. Like in query parameters, the name that we are passing as query parameter is part of attributes. So this is it guys for today's session. We have successfully created a REST service where we are taking input from the user and manipulating that input and setting that as a payload and returning to the user. And thank you so much for your time. Take good care of yourself and have a nice day ahead. Bye bye.